Well, yet another major event pulling out a Lad People Stadium. Yeah, the Lending Tree Bowl announcing it's going to move to Hancock Whitney Stadium that's on the campus of South Alabama. Our Lee Peck is live with reaction and what the future might hold for that stadium. Lee. Yeah, Lenise and Byron, this is the latest blow for Ladd. It comes just four weeks after five people were shot there at a Friday night high school football game. Well, tonight, those living by, nearby the stadium hope this isn't the end for Ladd. Ladd People Stadium calendar of events just got smaller. After 22 years, the Lending Tree Bowl making the move to South's Hancock Whitney Stadium, citing the newest game day technology and modernized fan experience. Whatever the reason, it's the latest big event to leave Ladd. First, it was South building their new on-campus stadium. Then came the Senior Bowl. And just last month, growing security concerns forcing Mobile County Public Schools to make the decision to no longer hold football games at LAD following a shooting that left five people wounded. And I think it's so wrong to have to move uh, the game from there because of some the little thugs want to sit down and shoot at people and they put them in jail, lock them away. And maybe that would do something, but what they're doing is putting them in jail, letting them out, coming right back and doing the same thing. Get rid of them. Neighbors recall Ladd in its heyday when the streets were flooded with people having a good time. It, it's never been a problem. Me growing up, honestly, I'd have been to all the football games coming up. I was at everyone. Now I went to Williamson High School. It's just crazy to not see none of the high school being played over there no more. It's just, I don't like that. While many believe South's exit was the beginning of the end, they also say the recent violence hasn't helped. When the high school games, I just noticed that it'd be a lack of security or police cars around, like not like those games. And I think that's what the big difference is. The security should be beefed up a little more. As the sun appears to be setting on lat, those same neighbors believe there's still life left in the old stadium. It's definitely still hope. You feel like Lad still has a future? Most definitely. Most definitely have a future. I'm telling you, yes. I believe it's a hope for it. I pray it is. Because I miss it. I enjoyed it. Because that been have been there too long for to try to get rid of her just to let it sit there. Meanwhile, District 2 City Councilman William Carroll says he's disappointed that the bowl game has decided to leave Ladd, but says he's optimistic they can find other revenue generating events for the stadium. We're live tonight in Mobile, Lepec, Fox 10 News.